Yeah. Hey, what's up, people? Cross the lane and land. Let me tell you about this. Okay, yesterday I was sitting in the doctor's office, y'all. And these idiot nurses that we call supposed to be helping us. Talking about George Floyd and the bad way. But first of all, if you don't know what the kneeling for, don't say nothing about it. If you knew what it was for, then you know what it was for for being for it. So, they were making me mad sitting in the office. But when I came out of it, I just looked at them and rolled my eyes. And I kept a step. Because if I would have responded to their little stupid comments they was making, I would have went off. Because it was real life stupid what they were saying. But we are the people. We need to stop it. Stop generalizing everything that's going on in the world. Doing all these riots. Burning down your cities for what, baby? We know we're tired of these people. We are very much tired of them killing ourselves. Killing our color. Basically. Making a democracy out of it. And the protesters was not being the, the, the belligerent that was Trump. Tear gas was a no-no. It was kids out there. You was wrong. Because you wouldn't want nobody to tear gas. She's your child. But anyways, the serious topic, topic of this note is that everybody doing dramatic stuff, everybody being real about the stuff, some are not, and some just don't care. But see, this is the stuff I was talking about. They use pepper balls and smoke flashbangs, which cause these images that you're seeing right now. So, all right, if you want to split hairs there, it's a distinction without a difference, right? Pepper balls and flashbangs share many similar effects of tear gas, including excessive tearing, lacrimation. Which that wasn't even cause for. Really, it wasn't. It was not at all. <sighs> Drink my water, y'all. Yeah. Twenty-four ounces of water every day. This is what I'm drinking my water out of, you guys. I'll start to get an 80, an eighty ounce, but. I did do because I didn't have the ones that I wanted, so I got a pink one. And, you know, to talk to you fellas and you ladies, in your opinions, my opinions affected the world, what do you think about this? Do you think that's crazy for him to use the tear gas? And what kind of president to tweet, tweet, tweet every day? To my left, make America great again. How? When you the one starting all the war? Hmm? Why? Why? So, the topic of today, I want to say that, you know, we all got our colors. So, we all should be according to and love ourselves. Love our color. Love whatever you the individual you like to do with yourself. Do it, do it well. If you are black, be black and proud of what you done become. Don't just sit there and say, I do not like my color because I'm black. Your ancestors don't went a long way to make you come this way. What's wrong with you people? Your ancestors are now looking down on us because what? you're going through right now you're not protecting your family you're not saying that you love yourself you're not saying you like to be black you're not saying it you hate your color so what the heck you think your skin color is it's black i love my skin color i love it i love what i become i mean i mean we all not perfect. Ain't nobody in this world perfect. But if people be saying that you're just a lie, you're just not perfect because you wouldn't have a perfect marriage. You wouldn't have a perfect, uh, a perfect nothing because guess what? God wasn't perfect either. But God is coming ten times four because y'all letting the devil step in and do what it do because y'all don't understand the situation that's going on now. 
I don't understand it. I'm coming to an end to see why our people are so turmoil towards the bull crap that's going on with these policemen. Some of these policemen. Not all policemen are like that. Not all. Don't get my word twisted. Not all policemen are like that. Some are. And gradually thinking of the worst thing in life. These children have to see what these grown-ups are going through every day. Every single day. Just to stay in your mind. Stay stressful. From being focusing on some silly stuff that's going on. That could have been avoided and stop patronizing our kind. Stop patronizing our kind. Just like y'all love y'all people, we love our black people too. Our black brothers and sisters, we all love them. White folks too, all the color. It don't matter what color you are, Mexican, Puerto Rican, whatever color, you should love yourself. Love yourself. Be that individual person that loves everybody. Be that person that's going to continue to be going to the top without nobody helping you. Be that person to step up and do what you think is right for your country or your nation or whatever you think is right. Be that person. But I'm here to tell you somebody loves you. Somebody loves you. But you just got to keep your faith. Keep going. Don't give up on hope or pride. None of that. Just keep on going. Focusing. And if your business owners be, get back up, do it again. Rebuild it. I know it's hard. Economics is crazy right now. It's hard because of these rights and what are they doing to people building and stuff. And if you got an online business, keep it going. Everybody got something going on with their business and stuff. This is just like a true statement right now. Don't look back on the things that you think that's going to terrorize you. Keep your faith and keep going and keep it moving. I'm not a preacher. I'm not I'm just motivating everybody because I need to motivate myself to do what I need to do to get myself up and going. To get myself move movements of what I've got going on with me. But it's a lot of people that say you ain't gonna be nothing, you ain't gonna be you ain't gonna do this. It'd be the ones that are in your family that talk about you behind your back or tell you that you ain't gonna amount to nothing. But keep that neck up and keep it going. You're gonna amount. You're gonna get it. You are going to get it. Even if you fight hard for it, you're going to get it. And guess what? Them same people that talk about you behind your back gonna be the same people. That's going to be next to you when you... Oh, I should have followed up. No. Remember when you said I wasn't going to be shit? Guess what? Go ahead and make me something. I can sweep you under the rug, bro. Under the rug, sis. Because guess what? The way you talk about me, the way God sees fits. That I know I'm strong enough to do whatever empowerment I can do. And if you don't understand that one, whoo, sister and brother, however, <laughs> y'all have lost your mind. If you don't understand that one. But the typical thing is, though, y'all don't understand. Y'all do not understand that People going to talk about you. People going to hate you. People going to put thumb down on your video because they can't do the videos you doing. People just do stupid shit just to try to think that you not you not that good or they don't want you to see you go all the way to the top. But people gonna do that because this is how people roll. You're not a how they say you're not a leader. You're a follower. 
if you see good videos and good things going on with people when they talking, um, thumbs it up. Don't be that idiot to thumbs down somebody's video because they have more time affected doing whatever they're supposed to be doing in these videos. And y'all sitting up there just going through little people's videos and not watching the whole video and y'all thinking that's cute. That's not cute at all. Re <clears throat> go through people's videos and go through the whole video and let it play out. Then comment. Then let it do what it do. Marinate. How they say it? Marinate. But back to the basis of what I was talking about today. George Floyd. Yes, he was a SUC freestyler. Some of y'all don't know who an SUC is. Some of y'all do. Y'all should know what SUC is. They've been around for years. So, they was, uh, the thing is, they put their knee on their main neck. He couldn't breathe. And y'all making a democracy out of it. Now, take a hint. If this was your kid, I don't care what color you are. If this was your kid, your kid, black, white, Mexican, whatever, I don't care, Puerto Rican, I don't care. You're not going to just sit there and make a democracy out of it and tell my, oh, so he couldn't breathe? Of course he couldn't breathe. He said he couldn't breathe, so that was a murder charge. That was a murder, murder, murder. And the, the other ones that was there, yes, they should have got something done too. Because they didn't do shit. Excuse my French, but they didn't do shit. But they was there. They seen him and they heard the man say he couldn't breathe. That just say, for instance, I'm doing something wrong. I'm out here. And I see somebody that I know doing something wrong. So what you think I should do? Talk them out of it or go against the grain with them? I'm going to try to talk them out of it. If they don't work, okay, that's on you. I done told you what to do and told you how to do it. But I'm not going to sit up here and just say, oh, uh, well, mm, I'm just letting them go ahead and do it make a bad example out of himself. No, you don't do that. When you see somebody doing wrong, you're supposed to tap them on the shoulder like, let up a little bit. You know, you know you on that man's neck. You know you ain't supposed to do all that. It's not... For us to do this, for this, we supposed to protect and serve. Y'all not protecting and serving. Y'all being thugs, just like the criminals that's on the street. They're being thugs. Thugs. That's all you being. Being is thugs. So what is up with that? Thugs. If you supposed to protect and serve, you supposed to protect and serve your people. Not do whatever y'all are doing, beating up on black folks. That's not a crime. Like y'all hit that woman. Use the man. What are you doing hitting a woman? Use a cop. I didn't like that one bit at all. Why are you putting your hands on a woman? And for you female cops, y'all be having y'all moments, y'all mutuals or whatever y'all be going through. Y'all supposed to set an example too. None of y'all set an example for no one. So why you think the American people don't want to get uh go against go uh, go up? Go against, don't want y'all to protect us because look what y'all doing. Y'all acting like thugs. Y'all acting just like thugs. Thugs. I tell you, thugs. It's time out for all that. You got the little bitty kids seeing all this turmoil going on. I mean, it's just too much. Too much. Then y'all teaching y'all kids to give fingers to the, the black folks. Like, okay, but y'all black lives matter and if you finger and all that. Where they come from? That starts from home. So you're being ignorant. And not, put, you're not putting your child in a place where you shouldn't follow what your daddy do or your, what your mother do. You shouldn't follow what you see other people do or say. You should be a leader. A leader. L-E-A-D-E-R. A leader. You should be a leader. And it's a hot mess on what is going on right now. General effect it is. It's, it's hot mess. Point blank. Period. Point blank. Well, that was the topic for today, you guys, and I'll probably be back 
some more topics or whatever, you know. So if you like what I was preaching about. Well, I'm not a preacher, so I'm not going to say preaching. I was teaching. So if you like what I was teaching about, like, subscribe, hit that bell, comment, and you know the rest. And y'all be blessed. And the corona is still out, so y'all take king or thing that's been infected in the U.S. I love you guys.